So you cannot trust somebody only because they're famous. You gotta trust them because they have a good work ethics. And that's very important. It doesn't just keep yourself a better person, it also helps your audience to be better because you don't even think about it a lot of time. Like you don't even think a, a lot you don't think you don't even think about it a lot of time, but if you have good work ethic, somebody's looking up to you. Somebody likes you. Somebody think of you as their model, you know. And a lot of time you don't realize it and maybe you would never realize it, but they exist. Those type of people who might be lost and when they see you, it's kind of like seeing a lighthouse in the fog, you know. They see you as their model and if that's the case, I you know, I just want to I I just want to like let you know like that type of stuff happens. People look up to you even if they never talked to you before. Strangers they can look up to you. So you have to make sure you behave. You do the best you can. So you can make that person a better person. If you see my backpack, um, you can see that one, two, three, four, five. I got five water bottles in there, and that's about like six pounds or seven pounds. So I have already done four sets, and I still feel like I can do more. Yeah, I did four sets, four sets of eight with like five pounds. And I feel like I can, I feel like I can still do more. I never had that feeling before. Like last week, I was struggling with just regular pull ups, and now I can do more. I think it's because um I didn't do ten, ten, ten. Instead, I did eight, eight, eight. Maybe that's why like I can do more. So I already did four sets. I'm gonna do two more sets with like train until failure, and see how it goes. Ring rows has to be something you do at the end of the workout <sighs> because um when your body is like at a diagonal or horizontal line then your the way how you breathe and the way how blood flows to your brain like they're different and <sighs> super sad with um Ring dip is not a good idea. 
oh, next time I'm not gonna do it. What is this? It makes me so dizzy. Or am I just because um I've been sitting around today too much? I'm not sure, but right now I feel a little bit of dizziness and I don't like this. I really don't like this, bro. What is this? God damn it. Like the majority of you said you like longer form of video instead of like clips of clips just like editing so if that's what people want to see then i'm gonna make it then my body is getting used to pike push-ups now like um i don't feel tight on my hamstrings and i feel better when i go down now like I remember when I first started when I lowered my body down my breathing technique was like it just got blocked it and now it's like you know opening it up so I can breathe while I'm like going down now which is a good thing my goal right now is make whoever is watching my video happy and try to improve one thing at a time for example camera angle which is what I'm gonna fix after I finish this talk and camera angle to try to like make yourself not bored and I want to focus a little bit of like naturalness on the editing for example like because I'm using a tripod right so it doesn't move I want to make it like um a little bit of like it's make a fact that make it like hand and hold if you understand what I'm saying so I'm not sure if you guys like hearing music on my video or not. Let me know if you want to like hear the music or you just want like no no music at all, just me talking and doing this type of stuff. I like the range of motion. Yeah, thank you guys for um, voting in my poll <sighs> because you know I was having a mental conflict with the other side of myself. I was like, should I do this or should I do that? But that one looked better. But maybe some people would like this type of video better. And you know I was like struggling to make a decision, and I did a good decision on making a poll and see your guys opinion and since you guys said longer video so i'm gonna make longer video and just see how it goes ow that hurt um i'm considering like live stream <laughs> Ooh, yeah so um what's it what is it gonna be about probably just like because i don't show core workout since I do it at night and just stretches core mobility and maybe a little bit of front lever for my live stream. Let me know in the comment if you would like to see that or maybe you would not like to see that. I don't know. Maybe you would like it. So yeah. Because if you like if you like like long form content, why won't you like live stream? Well maybe only because of the schedule issue. Anyway. So yeah, let me know in the comment if you would like that type of content. Also, if you haven't subscribed, a. Hey. If you haven't liked, a. Hey. Anyway, okay, let's get back. I don't know. Right now it's at night, but I feel like I got so much energy. <laughs> yeah, the reason why I decide to make this YouTube channel is because I want to increase my communication skill. Because, you know, if you... 
can hear it, you definitely can. Because I say it like so often. I say the ums, ahs, and just like, you know, also like those type of words a lot. So I'm trying to just say it in front of camera. Hopefully, like in a real life situation, I won't say it again. Yeah, I'm just, you know, just here to improve, you know, nothing much. As a high school kid, I'm very broke. And that's it. I'm very broke. There's nothing else to describe me. So, yeah, in calisthenics, not a lot of movement trains that center out. Not a lot of beginner exercise, I mean. So, I'm doing this with resistance band in hope to create a more 3D view. Yeah, it. Since this is straight arm, it trains my bicep as well. And it's because I'm shy, because I'm introvert. Because of that, I don't fit in. Since I don't talk to people, I don't fit in. Now I'm thinking about it. Now when I seeing things more clear. And now I'm just like, I'm glad that I did not become a, I don't want to say average person because I would bring other people down. You know, I'm just glad I didn't become a follower. Sometimes being a follower is good, but, you know, followers can be a leader as well. And if you are a follower follower, then that's going to be offensive, but I'm going to say it. Then you're just a dog. Like, you don't have your own opinion anymore. Like, whatever you say, whatever other people say, you're just going to follow. Whatever other people tells you to do, you're just going to do it, you know, you're just going to trust them, you're just going to, and the worst part, sometimes you might even def defend on their idea, that their personal idea, like, for me, it doesn't make sense, you know, but I guess it happens because nowadays, some people, it's not a bad thing, like, you trust another person, that means you're a human, but then you know, you gotta have some common sense sometimes. You can't just trust somebody only because of their fame. That's called false authority. That's right.